So there's one thing that I have not been entirely honest to you about. For the past one and a half years on this channel, I have been encouraging all of you to learn to code. Obviously, that's what this channel is about and helping you do that, hopefully, at least. And in doing so, it may seem like I'm super passionate about the act of coding. The thing is, I'm actually not, kind of, and here's why. So I was recently reading the new autobiography of Elon Musk by Walter Isaacson. It's a fascinating book and I have a lot of respect for Elon Musk, like no matter what you might say about him, I think he's doing incredible things with all his companies. But I don't wanna talk about that here. What I wanna talk about is one particular thing that book made clear about the life of Elon Musk. And that is that his life seems sort of miserable, actually. Health issues, drama, not a lot of happiness. Yet the guy is the richest man in the world. So why does he keep living like this? And all this got me thinking, like when you think about it, a lot of us, a lot of the time, do things that we don't necessarily like in the moment. And this brought me to think about my own life and whether I actually love everything I'm doing. Now, I do like to think that in the big picture, I do, but if I think about it, like what I actually spend my days doing, which is coding my startup Boxio mostly, I don't like a lot of it in the moment, most of the time. And this might come as a shock to you, given how much I talk about how coding is this amazing skill that everyone should learn, this and that. And in a moment, I will tell you what I think about that now. But first, here's the truth about programming. Most of the time when I'm sitting there coding, the truth is that it's not that fun a lot of the time. And me telling you that programming is fun and amazing and enjoyable would be a lie. And I don't think I've made that clear enough at all in the past, and I'm sorry about that. But today I wanna give you the truth about programming. Because what it actually feels like is this. You sit your ass down solving some error, and all you see is the error code that you don't know how to read. You don't even know where to start. Eventually, you get some clue what to do. You try a bunch of things, and none of it works. When you finally solve that bug after like two hours of no progress, you realize that that bug has now created three other bugs. Then you rinse and repeat. You spent hours moving one button to the left. Then you wonder why the div still isn't centered. And just when you think you're done, no, no, no. Your production build randomly crashes for no reason. Like this is the reality of programming. This is the reality of this thing that we're spending all of our time learning. So given all this, and given that programming actually kind of sucks a lot of the time, why do I still do it? And this brings us back to Elon Musk. His life may seem miserable in the surface, but my bet is that the reason why he does what he does is because despite how much he struggles in the moment, the act of doing these hard things and going through this struggle makes him fulfilled. And there's a big difference between fun and fulfillment. The stuff that's fun and enjoyable in the moment, like sitting on that couch and watching Netflix or eating some Belgian waffles in some coffee shops, these are the kinds of things that like feel really good in the moment. But the thing about these kinds of things is that afterwards and in the big picture, they don't make us feel good about ourselves. They don't make us fulfilled. What makes us fulfilled are often the opposite things, like going to the gym and putting your body under an immense load of weight. It feels shitty in the moment, but it makes you feel good about yourself after. I'm not passionate about coding, and you shouldn't be either. Now I said sort of, because I am passionate about the results that coding can bring me, and the fulfillment that comes from building cool shit and solving hard problems. For me, coding has given me my dream lifestyle that allows me to build really cool stuff that makes an impact while jet setting across the world and living the life that I always wanted. The point I'm making here is that Anything worth doing is going to be hard. It's going to feel hard to do it. And you're probably not gonna enjoy a lot of it most of the time. And that is the nature of doing hard things. And too many people get into programming thinking it's gonna be all roses and rainbows. I and mean, the truth about programming is that it's hard as heck, but the things coding can give you and the fulfillment that comes from finally solving that bug, from finally making some progress, make it all worth it, at least for me. Coding is a tool to solve problems, nothing more, nothing less. And the problems that it can solve for us make it worth learning. And the sooner that you can adopt this mindset, rather than thinking that it should be fun and enjoyable all the time, the sooner you will start to see results because you will learn that it's okay for things to be hard. It's okay to do things that are not comfortable, that are not easy, and that are not fun. And that is what makes coding such a beautiful representation of life. That is just how life works. 
So if you can think through learning to code through this lens, you are so much more likely to actually get the results because you're not going into the process with false expectations. If that sounds too difficult for you, then you can stop right here and never watch any of my videos or anything like that again, because I can't tell you that it's gonna be easy, can't tell you it's gonna be fun, because it's not going to be. But if you are the type of person where you understand this and you're fine with the process being difficult for the results in the end and it makes it worth it for you, then what I recommend to you is that you simply pick a path and learn something like full stack development. Because while learning the code is not easy, you can do certain things to make the process easier for you and faster for you. And I actually recently made a video where I give you this process, this one path for you to follow to become a full stack developer, which is the path of programming that I recommend for most people. So if you want to learn that, I recommend you watch this video next and simply just follow exactly what I tell you. But remember that it is not going to be easy.